evening and welcome back to my craft table this evening it's Jenny McCormack it's the 20th of November 2023 and it's just after 7 p.m. Monday here in Brackley in the UK thank you so much for joining me I missed our live on Thursday evening so I wasn't feeling too good I'm pleased to report that I am all well and good now and so I just wanted to catch up what I wanted to cover on Thursday for this evening. And this is using the Merriest Trees dies. And although I didn't use the stamp set extensively, we did use the um, tree trunk from the stamp set. We basically used the dies for our coffee and card design. And I also used the dies for an evening crafting session I did with some ladies from the Ladies Circle. And I'm doing something similar with the local WI um, in two weeks' time. So a couple of people have asked me about how I got the aperture and how I added the strips. So I wanted to show you two ways that you could do that. One is how I created the aperture and put the strips behind it. And the other one is then using the cutout piece and how you could apply strips to that. So good evening to you. And let us get cracking. I don't actually need that particularly. So this is what we did at Coffee and Card. So this is on a note card sized card one of our white cards and envelopes and i cut a spare piece that i cut the aperture into laid the strips of paper behind and then put the aperture on top and i've done the same for these but these are just scaled up so within the dies themselves you get all of these sizes so you get the largest one which is the one i've used here and then you get them in decreasing order, like so. So we have five all together. And what's really clever is that these stack on top of each other. So that one is the same as the top layer. That is the same as the top two layers. This is the same as the top three layers top four layers and then the biggest tree so there are so many things that you can do with this set you could cut these out in different colors in different blues for example and then stack them up i probably wouldn't use dimensionals between all of the layers because otherwise you're going to have um four layers of dimensionals on there which is probably a little bit too much but you could also alternate card and paper card paper and card um, and you could also um, cut them out of just fancy Christmas papers Christmas wrapping paper and very easy to make tags as well with these so so many combinations so let me show you um, I'm going to recreate this but I really want to focus on how I use the dies because that's what I've had the most questions about so for this particular card or the two cards that we're going to make one is with the die cut aperture and one is the die that we cut out I've got a basic white um, thick card I've got a piece of cherry cobbler card and this is the piece that's going to go onto there that I'm going to cut the tree out of and obviously you could cut multiple smaller trees as well if you wanted to I've got a piece of card that's going to go behind and this is what I'm going to attach the strips of paper to and so it just needs to be slightly bigger than that tree that I'm using so this particular one I'll give you the dimensions of it 
the size is nine centimeters by I want to say 12 by just over 11 and you want it to be big enough so that you can put your strips of paper or it could be ribbon and you want a little bit of leeway top bottom left and right so that you can um, just move that around as you need to okay so let's get cracking so what I'm going to do is place my die onto my aperture card now if you wanted to you could add post-it notes um, or a little bit of washi tape. I've got some here. I don't know how sticky this is. It's been there a little while. It's not gone too sticky. So I'm just going to pop that on there just to stop it moving. And then this is going to go onto our bottom plate, like so. This is for our stamp and cut and emboss machine. And then our top plate is going to sit on top of that. So I'm just going to run that through. There we go. And if you can, you want to pop it through at an angle. Let me show you. So that's your bottom plate. What you really want to do is put it at a, as much of an angle as you can so that you're not straining your plate. Okay, let's just peel this off, like so. And that will give me my Christmas tree that I've cut out and my aperture. Okay, so for the aperture, I've got my piece of card that's going to go behind. Now you could just put a piece of designer paper behind that if you wanted to um, so for example you don't have to do the strips you could have the holly or I've also got the that's rather nice the cherry cobbler with the white on it hi Lenny thanks for joining us I hope you are well so you could use either really but what we're going to do just to recreate our card is we're going to do two things so we're going to put some layers of paper onto here and put our aperture on top and then I'm going to show you how you can put layers of paper on here and run it through the die casting machine again with the same die so that you end up with effectively a die cut with the layers of paper on and again obviously that could be a single piece of paper if you wanted it to so let's do this one first so this is really recreating what i did online last monday goodness me so i've got some assorted pieces of paper these are the ones from the um, and I'm trying to think what it is called uh, is it Joy of Christmas Sparkle Christmas I can't remember I'm so sorry but all I need to do is find the double sided tape that I got out here it is I've got a fresh pack out ready I hope you're keeping well, Lynn, and that you've had a reasonable day. I know it's a busy time for you. Always a busy time for you. So we're just going to pop a piece of double-sided tape top and bottom and then either side. Sorry, it's, it's I shouldn't have used white card, should I? Because <laughs> you can't really see it very well but hopefully you'll see it as I put it on like so and then I'm just going to peel the edges up and our tape has really nice um, backing liner that comes off nice and easily I've got one roll that isn't stamping up and um, it's a nuisance to take all the pieces off 
okay so I'm just going to um, pop these pieces down let's just see I've got holly that's on the back of the holly isn't it? so I've got holly stripes dots presents holly let's find the stripes there we go dots and presents it really doesn't matter um, these is the colors here are cherry cobbler and mossy meadow I've got a little glitch going on. Hi, Len. And hi, Kerry. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I probably only need seven. So let's just do that. And then all I'm going to do is layer these from the bottom. And it doesn't matter if there's a little bit of overlap. It doesn't matter if they're not exactly straight. All I'm going to do is sort of push them together and this is much easier to do with double sided tape. When I think I first did my example I used wet glue and this is much easier with tape. So I'm just lining those up like so and I'm just seeing if that's going to fit as is. So that will work. I've got a little bit of tape on the top, so I'm just going to put this odd piece on there, just like so. Okay, so our aperture is going to go over that, and I like that it's you've got plenty of width to play with. Obviously, you can trim down any excess here out of the way. Just use these rather old stamping up scissors and just trimming that off. I know that this is just slightly bigger than my tree. You could use a trimmer as well, guillotine or paper trimmer, just to get those extra bits out of the way. Now as I said you could just put a single piece there which still looks really effective like so. Okay so I've got those pieces there and they're going to go behind my tree like so and you could either put the aperture layer up on dimensionals or you could have it flat. I tend to like it flat only because I've used white card here. When we did the samples, I actually used the same color card for the panel so that you couldn't really see the side pieces. But you could lift that up if you wanted to. It's quite effective, um, flat or like that. So what we did is we just used, if this has got enough glue in it, a little bit of glue and again you could use tape just around the aperture like so or if you're using dimensionals you want to put those around okay turn it over and then you've got a bit of time to sort of play with your layout really like so So we've got our piece behind, obviously I've got a little bit of glue at the bottom, let me wipe it off there. Um, and that then is going to go onto our white base card. So let me just do that. So I just wanted to show you the cutting of that aperture. Other than that, this is the same as the sample I did last Monday, but just on a slightly bigger scale. Now you could, if you wanted, do a line of Christmas trees 
in a landscape format so you could have for example this one the smaller one and the bigger one it might be a little bit much like so yes yeah, a little bit wide for that or you could go for a bigger card um, and do exactly the same thing and you can have strips of paper going right the way across now my script strips here are one and a half centimeters in width okay so there's my base card and then all I need to do to finish that off is to stamp my sentiment and either put it across or across the bottom and then add um, a star and I've got a selection of stars that I've cut out in preparation so I've got gold ones I've got red sparkly ones got red um, velvet ones white white sparkly silver and the gold ones I cut out from our self-adhesive gold sheets so you can just peel the back of that off you don't need any glue and you can pop that on however you would like okay with the sentiment so that's one card just really recreated what I did last week what I want to show you is how you can take the cutout piece to make another card using the pieces of paper now when I first did this I thought oh yeah that's fine I can layer these up however I want like so and then die cut it from the back or die cut it through there the problem is it's quite difficult to get it exactly in line this is also not symmetrical so if you look here on the left hand side you've got two little um, pieces here and one piece here so what you can't do is turn this over and cut it I and mean, it's not far off to be honest but it doesn't quite fit so all we're going to do is turn it over put our strips on the back and then die cut it from the front okay so we're actually just working on the back and again you can do the same thing you can use glue or tape I'll just pop some tape down there of course couldn't have done couldn't do that again if I tried to get it exactly in line let's just pull that off my got my fingers a little bit sticky now and let's just put some down either side or maybe this here and here as I said I'll take it's really easy to take the back off as well you could if you wanted to use our self-adhesive sheets and put that on but then you'd have to run this back through actually to get that die cut out okay I'm just going to add the smallest amount of glue for this gap I've got here and here just because I want everything to stick nicely it wasn't as critical with this one because it was going to be stuck inside of that aperture anyway okay so now I can do the same thing with this um, and it doesn't really matter again how this goes if I wanted it really straight I would pop it on some grid paper let's see if I've got enough to just alternate stripes and dots What's on the other side? So I've got two there. It might work. It might not. So I'm just pushing those up together, like so. Now, when you get to the piece at the top, you don't have to use the full width. Obviously, you can save on your paper. So you can do that. 
a little bit like so this is really therapeutic just putting those layers together you don't really have to think about it uh, what do I need on the top stripe so I can just use that spare little piece there and a little dot of glue I think there is tape on there but just in case let's make sure it goes the same way okay so now I've got these pieces but they're on the back of the die cut and what that enables me to do is put this back through like so and then when it cuts it out I'll have a tree from the back so just going to sit that in place Let's make sure it is just put a bit of spare tape on there to hold it and then exactly the same thing just going to pop it onto my plate there I've got this the wrong way around okay I want my well used plate underneath and then this one says top only and that just stops the plate from getting too used too quickly Now if I bring this back, let's move these out of the way with my spare dies as well, peel these pieces off, like so, now you've got a Christmas tree die cut like that and it doesn't matter uh, that it's the back of the tree nobody's going to know you're not going to know the difference if the edge being slightly raised annoys you you can just use a bone folder and just run it over the edges but it doesn't it doesn't bother me at all because it's got the thickness of the card and the paper it um, sort of squashes it all together which is, you know, it's good. It keeps, obviously, it keeps the glue. So you really don't want too much wet glue for this. Otherwise, when you put it through, the glue is going to seep out. So I would, if you could, stick with just using tape or the smallest amount of glue or a tape runner you could use. So there, so now we've got this one here, which is the one we've done. And then the aperture that we've cut out from there, which is that way, we turned it over, put the strips on, but turned it back to put it through the die cutting machine. Now, if this was symmetrical, you wouldn't have to worry about that. You could just put this piece on. And to be honest, you could cut it but there's just the smallest amount of difference that you can see there's a couple of the pieces here so you'd have a little odd an odd bit so that now can go on to another card or you could use it as a tag um, so let's see what I might put behind here I've got those lovely dots look they look quite fun and lift that up on there. I think I'm going to do that. Let me trim this piece down. So that was what I wanted to show you. I think it was Catherine who was asking me how to, let me just see how wide that is. Nine and a half. So I can make this 13.85. So it's just slightly narrower. Is my base card so let's pop that layer on and then this one I'm going to lift off with dimensionals I do love that holly paper though uh, now word of warning and that is our new catalogue that comes out in January 
means that stamping up know and we as demonstrators know what items are retiring and the retiring lists are published tomorrow the 21st of November and there is the potential for items that are retiring to go out of stock uh, I know some of the items have already gone out of stock so that's going to go on there going to raise it up in dimensionals um, so I will send an email out with a link for all the retiring items but just to say if you want to grab hold of anything then this is from the Christmas mini catalogue the green one then don't delay there are discounts which will also move things quickly there we go just put that one on the top there rather a lot but I've just got small ones to hand so <laughs> apologies for that and you could wrap ribbon around here and of course you could do this whole thing with ribbons it doesn't have to be papers and you could alternate paper and card so if you've only got a small amount of Christmas paper left then you could alternate paper and card and you could put the card through an embossing folder you could also just use a smaller die so this one fits a card front standard card this one next one down fits a note card really nicely this one here and then you could obviously go smaller for little um, square cards the three by three square cards and that would make a fab little tag wouldn't it I might have to try one of those and I would probably make the strips narrower these are one and a half centimeters but if I was doing the smaller one well it would probably still work you would get four four in there wouldn't you four strips um, let's put this on here like so Oh, you can't see it I can see it really clearly but it's of course it's camouflage for you isn't it that looks really funny <laughs> oh that is funny that looks completely different in real life to what it looks like on the screen on the screen it looks like I've just put four strips if I angle it there you go how funny is that there you go and obviously if you haven't got the dice you can just do strips um with corners going in makes no difference does it um and so i could add a sentiment going across there so you can actually see the tree and again you could add a star onto that let's just see what stars i've got um i think probably a white one and i do like the fact that with this um tree die set and this one isn't retiring, I'm pleased to say. It's being carried over. Um, but there are lots of different stars that come with it. So uh, you have these little blocks here that cut out the present stamps. And then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and there's a rounded one, seven. Seven different stars that you can use. And then you get these dies. It's a set of three. And you get three sets of three. And these match the ornament stamps. So you could stamp um, the stamp three times. And then put the dies down and cut them out. And then you could pop the ornaments onto the tree. So there's so much you can do with this. I've barely touched the surface really. Um, let's just quickly add a sentiment if I can see a strip of card to hand and see what um, everybody said hi to you Scott hi Brenda thanks for joining us now do you see what I mean Scott 
because you can do this the double the double tree this way I'm just going to stamp sentiment onto here I had one to hand there we go so from brightest glow which is a carryover stamp set I've got season's greetings here and it happens to fit really nicely and on the inside um, you could put this one here hoping your Christmas shines bright with the love of family and friends or may the peace of the season light your world and may your new year be the brightest or to you and yours or just Merry Christmas inside any combination really uh, let's just grab a block and cherry cobbler just going to see how this stamps just going to pop this on the bottom of here and trim it down And there we have it. So, so much more you can do with this die set. There we go. I could put that across the bottom actually. That would work quite nicely. Yes, just going to trim that. I think that is nine and a half centimeters smallest amount to come off I don't do it with scissors because I know it won't be straight there we go and I think I'll lift that up with dimensionals as I said <laughs> I've forgotten of course that it's completely camouflaged I promise it does look it does look better in person. Uh, let's pop these on and looking for the dimensionals I had a second ago. And there we go. So twice in one day. So I'll upload the video from this morning first. Or maybe maybe I'll upload this one and then it'll be in sequence. I will do that. It'll be in sequence on YouTube. So just position this across here. Hopefully, fairly straight, and I'm going to pop that. On. I'm just going to add a small dimensional right in front of me. Put that at the top. Like so. <laughs> Should have definitely chosen a different backing. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. Um, anyway, so there we go. That's using the aperture of the tree that we cut out from this one and placed the strips of paper on there and then ran it back through the die cutting machine. So I hope you like that. As I say, there's plenty of suggestions and ideas and I do like the stepped up um, larger version. Um, I can't always do that for coffee and card because it's difficult to prepare to know how many people are coming, which is why it's much easier for me to use note cards and envelopes um, because that I just get out, open another pack. Whereas um, if I use the larger ones, then I need to pre-cut a lot more um, in preparation. I don't think I've put much glue on that corner. So let's just... Put that right and the easiest way to do it is not try and lift it up but put a little bit of glue on a scrap piece of paper or card like so 
and then lift it up and just apply it like that and then make sure you throw that piece of paper away straight away okay just holding that for a minute and this outside piece here you could also pop through an embossing folder the snowflake embossing folder would look really nice with that or the Christmas one that has all the wording on so there we go I will add sentiment to that one but I wanted to show you um, a couple of other things that you could do with the dies so I hope that's been useful and um, the merriest dies is still available it's still currently in stock you can buy the dies as the set or you can buy the dies with the bundle and obviously that will then match the trees but to be honest I think you can get away with just using the dies obviously we do have the presents but you could make little presents just cutting up patterned paper with those and wrapping some twine round um, you don't get the stalk obviously for the tree um, which you would get if you used the stamp sets but you could cut an oblong or cut that with some brown card to get it so for the most benefit buy the bundle but if not um, buy the dies and have some great fun thank you so much everyone I look forward to catching up with some of you at coffee and card tomorrow and in the meantime look after yourselves and keep crafting oh and just a reminder i'm sorry um if you're local to me and you're available this saturday i have a winter buy one get one free event uh, that's this saturday between 10 30 and 12 and that's at evenly village hall and i have um my retired stock that you can purchase and then you can order the equivalent of products either from the annual catalogue or from the mini catalogue and that can include items that are discounted so you double win so if you're local and available just give me a shout if you'd like to come along um, Brenda and um, anybody who needs to um, I do have an early bird 10 to 10 30 um, for anybody who needs to be careful of um, mingling with other people so if anybody wants to come early for that purpose then you're most welcome so thank you so much everyone do take care have a great evening morning afternoon depending on where you are and when you are watching and thank you so much for joining me. Do take care and bye for now.